guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing the superstitious book tag. And I die if you want to destroy my sweater oh, 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 this bed as I want. I have to do this by Sockter from Books on My Social Life. He tagged me I think in October so I'll have his links in the description box. He's an amazing channel and I highly recommend checking him out and this was created by My Reading is Odd so I'll have her links in the description box as well. She has really cool hair so yeah and let's jump right into the questions. Friday the 13th is an unlucky day. What book have you been unlucky to read? I love this question. I also love Friday the 13th. I was born on Thursday the 13th. Are you kidding me? So close. Um, but the book that I have been unlikely to have to read is um, Obsidian by Jennifer All Armentrout. I know it's a popular series and I know a lot of people love it for like guilty pleasure purposes, but I honestly hated it. Like it was funny because of how bad it was, but like it was such a bad book. <laughs> I don't think it deserves the hype it has. Um, it's just Twilight with aliens and it's kind of annoying and dumb. So moving on. Eat, bring good luck. Release has you hopping with excitement. So for this, there's so many. I'm gonna come out with a video with my 2018 anticipated releases, but um, Gunslinger Girl is coming out in I believe January and it is by, um, I don't remember the author's name. It'll be up on the screen, but James Patterson presents that company that James Patterson is under is publishing it and it's also he also published the um hunting prince dracula and stalking jack the ripper it's the other way but he also published those and i really enjoyed the second book in that series and this is a y western which i'm so excited for i think it's gonna be really cool and it sounds really promising and number three a cricket in your house brings good luck what film would you never want in your house he was just pass he's on my shirt but i mean i wouldn't want him actually considering he morphs into your deepest darkest fear i don't even know what that would be for me but i wouldn't want it in my house so yeah step on a crack and you'll break your mother's back show us your most beaten and battered book this is hard i don't know why i'm gonna go with kujo it's the spine is cracked twice it's cracked three times because <laughs> i read this a long time ago um which i never finished it but i started reading it a long time ago so yeah I like protects vampires from evil spirits what book are you too scared to read so there's not really any book I'm too scared to read necessarily I'm a little intimidated <laughs> by the size of some books so I am intimidated by the stand just because I know it's going to take me a while even though I feel like I'm going to really really love it um but I'm hoping to get to this in 2018 and it's just the size of it kind of scares me no offense to anybody um it's his biggest work it's bigger than it and it's a chunker and it's also a very popular work of his so i'm kind of nervous to read it and see what i think of it i guess but i'm also excited i don't know breaking a mirror brings seven years of bad luck uh what book could you read for seven years so you expect me to say the verge of suicide but i'm going to be switching it up today. So I'm gonna go with Warcraft by Marie Lu, which you guys know I adored and I think I would definitely reread this in the future. Um, and yeah, and like make a really epic sci-fi playlist and jam to it while I read and tab and annotate it. That just sounds like so much fun to me. So I could read this for seven. It doesn't mean like reread it every year for seven years. It doesn't mean like <laughs> whatever. Yes. The day keeps the doctor away. What book has the best descriptions of food? This was so hard. Like, why is this such a hard question? I don't know. I'm gonna answer this question, but there is a book that I might be able to kind of cheat into this question. Speakerella by Ashley Poston. This book, the only reason why I'm saying this one is because it has like, they have like a vegan treats. It's called The Magic Pumpkin. It's, they sell kale smoothies and vegan desserts and that's appealing to me. All the questions. So I'm going to be tagging Kayla from Little Charites, Jessie from Jessie's Jessie Shelf. Oh, I always say her name so weird. Jessie from Jessie's Shelf. And I'm also going to be tagging Jay from The Awkward Buckworm. So all their links down below. Awesome channels. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Bye. No, stay. Stay. Yeah, like it's alive, right? Like, oh my god.